Hello, savvy investors and financial enthusiasts. It's Iggy here from the Investing Iguana, where we dive deep into the world of finance and investment. Today, we're exploring something that's a cornerstone of financial security for many in Singapore, the Central Provident Fund, or CPF. This isn't just any pension system, it's been ranked as the best in Asia and has made an impressive leap into the global top 10 according to the Mercer CFA Institute Global Pension Index. So, what's the secret sauce behind Singapore's CPF success? I've dissected the strategies and innovations that make CPF a model system, and in this video, we'll uncover the three key strategies that have propelled Singapore's CPF to the top. Whether you're a CPF member, a financial planning enthusiast, or just curious about world-class pension systems, this is a deep dive you don't want to miss. So, let's get started and unravel the secrets behind Asia's best pension plan. Singapore's Central Provident Fund, CPF, a cornerstone of the city-state's retirement savings plan, has emerged as the top pension system in Asia, according to the latest Mercer CFA Institute Global Pension Index. This prestigious index, now in its 15th edition, evaluates and ranks global pension systems, and the CPF's climb to 7th place out of 47 global retirement systems in 2023 marks a significant achievement. In 2022, CPF held the 9th position among 44 global systems, but this year, it's not only the leader in Asia, surpassing counterparts like Hong Kong and Japan, but it has also secured a spot among the world's top 10 pension systems. This advancement reflects Singapore's commitment to enhancing its pension scheme, with an improved overall score of 76.3 in 2023, up from 74.1 the previous year. Chung Chi Long, Mercer Singapore's wealth business leader, attributes this success to increased pension coverage among Singaporeans. The city-state's pension system has been consistently evolving since the Global Pension Index began in 2009, showing a steady upward trajectory in its performance. One of the notable features of Singapore's CPF is the Retirement Account, RA, which forms a critical part of the CPF Life Plan. CPF Life, an innovative longevity insurance annuity scheme, ensures monthly payouts for life, providing Singaporeans with a sense of security in their golden years. As of the second quarter of 2023, the RA balances have seen a healthy increase to 105.5 billion US dollars, a 4.6% rise from the previous year. However, the Mercer report also highlighted a drop in Singapore's performance in the integrity subindex from 81 to 77 points, following new evaluation criteria that include anti bribery and corruption measures personal conduct codes, and transparency in investment strategy and performance. Singapore faces challenges common to many advanced economies, such as low birth rates and longevity issues. These factors place a greater strain on retirement income systems, as longer life expectancies mean that larger total benefits are required over extended retirement periods. To address this, Mercer suggests raising the age for CPF withdrawals from 55 to 60, aligning with the increment in Singapore's retirement and reemployment ages, which are set to reach 65 and 70 respectively by 2030. Another recommendation from Mercer is to lower barriers for setting up corporate group retirement plans, which could complement individual CPF savings. However, Christopher Tan, CEO of Provident, notes that while the idea of a corporate pension scheme is not new, its implementation faces challenges, particularly for small and medium-sized enterprises. Tan emphasizes that individuals must take an active role in planning for a comfortable retirement, suggesting investments in equities and bonds as a means to counter inflation and interest rate rises. In the realm of pension systems, Singapore's Central Provident Fund, CPF, stands out as a beacon of excellence in Asia, largely due to its innovative and responsive strategies. At the heart of CPF's success is its comprehensive coverage and mandatory savings scheme. This foundational aspect mandates contributions from both employers and employees, ensuring that all working individuals in Singapore accumulate savings for critical life aspects such as retirement, health care, and housing. The mandatory nature of the scheme ensures universal participation, avoiding the common pitfall of undersaving that many voluntary pension systems face. 
Additionally, the flexibility in adjusting contribution rates according to age groups aligns contributions with the changing earning potential at different life stages. Another significant strategy that has propelled CPF to the forefront is its dynamic approach to adjusting policies in response to economic conditions and demographic shifts. In a world where longer life expectancies and aging populations are becoming the norm, CPF has shown exceptional agility. Regular policy updates, such as adjusting the withdrawal age and the full retirement sum, reflect CPF's commitment to staying relevant and effective in the face of socioeconomic changes. The introduction of CPF Life, a longevity insurance annuity scheme, is a testament to this adaptability, ensuring lifelong payouts and addressing the challenge of increased life expectancies. Furthermore, the CPF Investment Scheme, which allows members to invest their savings in various instruments, adds a layer of flexibility and the potential for higher returns. Transparency and integrity in the management of CPF have been instrumental in garnering public trust and confidence, forming the third pillar of its success. CPF's commitment to transparency is evident in its regular and detailed reporting on financial status and investment strategies. Such openness ensures that members are always informed about how their funds are being managed. The robust regulatory framework governing CPF fund management minimizes risks and ensures the security of the funds, further strengthening member confidence. Additionally, CPF's integration of technology through online portals and apps enhances user experience, making it easy for members to access their account information and utilize various services. In the context of Singapore's socioeconomic environment, these strategies are particularly effective. The culture of financial prudence in Singapore complements the mandatory savings model, while the government's proactive approach to long-term planning is reflected in CPF's dynamic policy adjustments. The emphasis on transparency and integrity aligns with Singapore's broader governance principles, prioritizing efficiency and accountability. In conclusion, the comprehensive coverage with mandatory savings, dynamic policy adjustments in response to changing conditions, and a strong focus on transparency and integrity are the strategies that have shaped CPF into Asia's top-ranked pension system. These strategies offer valuable lessons for pension systems globally and underscore CPF's role as a model of pension system excellence. And that, my friends, wraps up our journey into the heart of Singapore's CPF system. We've uncovered the three key strategies that not only define its success, but also provide valuable lessons for pension systems worldwide. Singapore's CPF is more than just a retirement fund. It's a testament to thoughtful policymaking, adaptability, and a focus on long-term sustainability. As we've seen, these strategies have profound implications not just for Singaporeans, but for anyone interested in pension systems and financial security. I'm Iggy from The Investing Iguana, and I hope this deep dive into CPF has given you insights and inspiration for your own financial journey. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more finance insights, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Remember, understanding complex systems like CPF is key to being a well-informed investor and citizen. Until next time, stay financially savvy and keep exploring.